Dr. Andy Martin with CardioSource Video News, and there's a new uh, sort of uh, exciting thing that uh, the ACC and the Heart Rhythm Society has done called the Clinical Community on Cardiac Rhythm Management, and it's going to be on CardioSource, and I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Tom Deering. Tom is the director of the Arrhythmia Center at the Piedmont Heart Institute in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's also on the content working group. Tom, thanks for joining me. Randy, thank you very much for having me. Tell me, tell me a little bit about how this came about. This particular project is a joint venture between the American College of Cardiology and the Heart Rhythm Society. And the goal is actually to provide an educational venue that is unique for the education of the general cardiologist on topics that are relevant uh, for rhythm issues. And it will be both posted on uh, CardioSource and as well on the HRS online websites. Well, that's, that's super. Tom, what, you know, what kind of topics are you all going to be addressing? Actually, we're going to be addressing a number of different topics, and we think that this is a very important initiative. Part of the reason why we think it's an important initiative is that the electrophysiology field has advanced rather rapidly over the past decade. We have great new technologies, but there appears to be a gap between these fundamentally wonderful technologies and how they're applied and appropriately utilized. Sure. So what our goal is to actually bridge that particular gap and provide educational sources that will allow for that gap to be better addressed, understood, and connected to by the general cardiologist. For the general cardiologist. So, exactly. So, so give me some, and, and I, think, I think you're exactly right, that this, there is a sizable gap in, in knowledge mm -hmm. sometimes, not, I mean, uh, understanding of all the advances mm -hmm. that you all have done. Give me some uh, specific topics that you might be addressing. Some of the topics that we hope to address early on in this particular project are some of the topics that are really based on consensus statements okay. that have been put out by both the American College of Cardiology, HRS, ERA, and other organizations. So things like which type of pacemaker is appropriate. Uh, when is genetic testing for arrhythmic issues relevant and when should it be addressed? How do we best choose CRM patients right. and what type of device, when, and manage them subsequently? And a number of other issues like that. So that existing body of literature. Oh, that's, that's great. Tom, the, I mean, it sounds you know, great information. Uh, formats, what, uh, if, mm -hmm. I, if I go on and get into this clinical community, what's the format going to look like? We want to make this a very interactive format between the cardiologist and the site. So we're going to use a number of sources. We're going to have basically electronic print, which sure. will be a review of existing important articles, some summaries of certain consensus statements, for example. In addition to the electronic print, we want to have a blog where there will be experts who can go back and forth, because we feel a dialogue oh, between be the cardiologists and the experts is very, very important. We will also have interviews with experts on a particular topic. For example, someone who wrote an important article will be interviewed about his or her thoughts in reference to that. So a mixture of electronic modalities and a number of different venues. That's super. And final question then would be, when is it going to be available? When is it going to be launched? The launch site is May 9, 2012. So That's great. Look it up look that it, day. I'll be, I'll be able to go, go live on it that day. <laughs> sounds well, it sounds like uh, it's great, and I appreciate you being here. And it sounds like a great initiative with the college and the Heart Rhythm Society. We look forward to getting it going and think it will be as well. Super. So all of you should look for this site on May 9, 2012. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.